I'm Isaac Toops, Top Chef Season 13 finalist. Congratulations, Thank Isaac. Thank you. <laughs> I fought all the way to the end, but lost the title to this guy. Jeremy, you are Top Chef. Win or lose, Top Chef made me a better chef. Now I'm ready to take on a new challenge. So I'm heading out to sea, where the food is delicious and the chefs oh, are amongst the best that. in the world. Hopefully, I can pick up a few new skills along the way. Awesome! Mafungo! Shouldn't be hard at all. This is Isaac Takes On, brought to you by Celebrity Cruises. Me and desserts are like oil and water. I'm all about meats and improvising. Desserts are all about delicacy and precision, and I'm about as delicate as a machete. Tonight, I'm taking on a master pastry chef in a table-side dessert bath. But first, he's gonna show me how to make a classic French crepe, one of the most popular dessert items on the ship. Chef Rudolph. Hey, how are you? Isaac, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I hear you're a good pastry chef. I think so. You think so? <laughs> So, some pan coating to make sure it's not sticky. Very hot pan. Fast. Otherwise, it's gonna set before you finish. It's not a pancake, so we need to make very, very, very thin. You steep and you cook both sides. Tell me, how many crepes do you have to make before you get good at it? Like a thousand. A thousand? Yeah, after you are very good. I'm only gonna make a thousand, no problem. Yeah. Come back in uh, three weeks. <laughs> nice. Chef, what do you look for in a good dessert? You need to find the right balance. I like to find the balance with the texture, and I need to balance all the ingredients. Something sweet with something bitter. If you use raspberry, always you're gonna put like a lime or lemon. It's all about balance. Just like I learned in cocktails and savory cooking, dessert is no different. You're starting to make artwork on the plate. This is beautiful. Balance and beauty. Yeah. I think I'm starting to get it. I'm not as dumb as I look. So you see now, we balance strawberry, fruity size. When we combine everything, you have all that flavor in your mouth. It's delicious. It really works very well. The ice cream balances the sweetness, balances with the slight bitterness from the red wine, mm, the freshness of the strawberries, and the puffiness from the crepe. Yeah. Mm. Mm. In yeah. New Orleans, we do a lot of table side. Now, I've seen it done, but I've never done it myself. So now, I'm in for a challenge, but I'm ready to go. Good luck, chef. Chef, do you mind if I look around in your kitchen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking for my pastry skills. Yeah, looking for. They're not in here. Nothing? Nothing. Today, Chef Rolloff and I will be going head to head, making desserts table side. So, Chef, on a, on a scale of one to 10, what, what, do you, what do you think my chances are? It's okay, we are here to play, not to play. It's okay. I like this guy. Chef Rodolph is making bananas and chocolate with a caramel sauce, and I'm doing a New Orleans favorite, Bananas Foster. May the best banana win. I'm going to make a banana Foster, but I'm going to change it up based on what Chef Rudolph taught me about balance. I'm going to add a little coffee to add a little bitterness and some crispity, crunchy crumble for texture. Now all I need to do is not forget the bananas. Hey, Chef, come, yeah, come this way. You know? <laughs> that might be the only way I beat you today. Any of y'all make desserts? Me either. <laughs> Use our spoon. That's why I put the hook in it so you can twirl it. Aha! A little bit of coffee. All right, I haven't messed it up yet. But if you give me a minute. Nah, we're cracking. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Take our ice cream. A little crispy country. Chef was telling me it's all about texture and balance. I'm sorry, I did something wrong. There's some whiskey left in this, and I thought it was poisonous. <laughs> All right, do me one favor. Eat it before the ice cream melts. Okay, all right. You guys taste the coffee bitters in it? Yeah. Yeah. My oh, favorite. The crunch. The crunch. Yeah. yeah, it adds a lot to the dish. If Chef wouldn't have told me about texture, the, the crunch wouldn't have been there. So next time, keep your mouth shut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so are you ready for pastry now? Yes. 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 So let's go. Yeah, Mmm. Oh. Is ready? Yeah. Yes. Really good. See, next time you do this first, so I can count. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, look at that presentation. And the flambe on the side. Oh, he's bribing you, Chef Rudolph. Come on, look at that. Come on. How am I supposed to be that? Amazing. Chef, you didn't pull any punches today. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who voted for the chocolate bomb? Now, who voted? for the Banana Foster. Did I just win that challenge? Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I don't know if I deserve that, but I'll take it. Chef Rodolph was an excellent trainer. I learned a valuable lesson today about balance. Adding coffee and also texture to my dish helped put it over the top. I owe the win to him. Who knows, I might even start making pastries at home. 
I won't.